Hi, uh, good evening. Uh, today we will learn uh, how to do the service entry sheet and also how to reverse the service entry sheet which was done wrongly or any reason if you want to reverse the service entry sheet what to do and how to delete a service entry sheet all these things today we will uh, learn first uh, we will do one service entry sheet I will take this purchase order This is the purchase order. Uh, it contains one item and uh, two service lines. We will do one uh, service entry sheet first and then we will go to other. The transaction code to do the service entry sheet is ML81N. Once we come to service entry sheet, this is a screen. You have to click on other purchase order. Here we have to paste our uh, purchase order. You have to give our purchase order as an input. If you have uh, different items, you have to give one item. We can create service entry sheet per item. You can See now our purchase order is copied here. The item is 10. Then click on create button. You can write like test service entry sheet. Okay. service entry sheet then click on the service selection system will give you the purchase order and item number from PO we are copying then click on continue here we don't have to give any other inputs see now we got our uh, two line items select the line items which you want to do and then click on services then these two services lines what are the service lines we have selected those will be copied here here we can make changes to the quantity if required and uh, if you want to do the entire service entry sheet we can do the same service entry sheet just give these quantities okay then here I will briefly explain you there are uh, different uh, icons here. This is the change display. We can use the display and change. This is the create button. This you, if you want to copy. Here this is the release. Uh, if you have a release strategy we can uh, to release we can do. Otherwise from the screen itself also we can really accept how we are accepting the uh, service entry sheet. This is the block. If you want to block this respect to service entry sheet we can use this icon and this is very important uh, set final entry when do we use the service set final entry for example uh, you have um, 10 items 10 items of uh, services uh, but you are doing the service entry sheet for three okay at that time you decided like next seven service entry sheets are not required and you want to close that PO with this uh, three entries means uh, system should not allow you to do further seven service entry sheet at that point of time if you want to close that uh, respect to service entry sheet we can keep this entry this is the delete icon okay now what will I do I will just accept it you have to click on accept then system will come this will be accepted suddenly if you want to some changes we have this uh, revoke option if you click on this revoke then system will back to the same stage okay you have to accept then no acceptance to system has changed the status to will be accepted then save it once you save the service entry sheet there will be a service entry sheet number will be generated and also in the back end there will be a material document because this is almost like a MIGO right uh, how uh, our uh, stock in when you do the MIGO there will be a material document and accounting document will be generated in the same way here also a material document and accounting document will be generated in the back end in service entry sheet what we do is how much services we have received how much services were actually done for to just to entry this this service entry sheet was designed for the service procurement activities here you can see service entry sheet is saved and acceptance document posted 
this is the document uh, related to the material document where we can see the accounting entries and all that we see now this is the service entry sheet number okay now we will go to PO see here there is no uh, purchase order history tab right now I will go here and just I will refresh the PO now you will get get the extra tab PO history see purchase order history where what you are seeing here this is the service entry sheet number and this is the material document number with 101 the accounting entries everything we can see here see go to FA documents it will look like bigger screen only the back end it will be created see what are the services account we can see that uh, layout also here choose layout if you already if you have a defined otherwise we can uh, just change layout and uh, here there is a transaction okay this is the transaction just move it to display stays click see here KBS and WRX GRIR is WRX and KBS is account assigned PO right that's why the KBS will come okay this is just for your uh, information I have shown you how a material document will be generated in the back end and now we can see there is a service entry sheet is created and um, one material document in back end it was created okay and as per our discussion today we want to know how to delete the service entry sheet or how to cancel if you want to reverse we can keep like that and if you want to cancel also how to do that one that we will learn today see this is our service entry sheet the same transaction code we can use that we I will come from the starting screen slash n ml 81n is the transaction code once you come to transaction code you have to click on this same other purchase order but this time you have to give the input of service entry sheet which you want to delete or which you want to reverse see now we came to our service entry sheet screen here you need to click on this change or display icon okay see once you click on this change or display icon we you got an option called revoke revoke acceptance you just click on that revoke acceptance now it has come to revoke it was reversed whatever the acceptance we have done it was reversed okay now you can save that's it system is asking the what is the posting date and all in the reference we can give a uh, reversal kind of thing see service entry sheet is saved and acceptance document was posted there is an another document was posted with reverse but the, with the same number service entry was saved see I will just go to PO I have just uh, refreshed our PO see what happened our service entry sheet was save but we got a document 102 see the reverse document was generated okay service entry sheet was saved because still we can do if you want to do the service entry sheet we can do it was reversed with the material document 322 we can see this uh, opposite entry also okay if you want to delete completely the service entry sheet then same thing come to service entry sheet screen and then click on this change button okay this is the one our service entry sheet here we have an option of delete just click on delete see now it is deleted then save okay see with the same number it will be deleted 
you can see the delete icon also here now you will see the difference in the amount field I am just refreshing it see here the service entry sheet the amount became zero earlier it was 30,000 right if you delete the service entry sheet completely now it has become zero and we can do another service entry sheet without any issues okay I think today you learn uh, how to uh, delete a service entry sheet which was done wrongly or which was done uh, unknowingly with some other reason which should not be done okay with this process you can um, cancel or you sorry you can delete the service entry sheet completely okay that's a done you we can create a new service entry sheet according to the requirement okay i hope uh, this session is useful for you thanks for your time